What is going on guys, it's Hive with the Upper Left USA, and I am very excited to bring you guys today's video because this just arrived in the mail. My brand new, unused, unboxed, black paint Leica M6 TTL Dragon 2000 Millennium Edition. That is quite a mouthful, but I consider this to be a grail camera. So I am very excited. Let's get into this thing and see exactly what I am getting. So on the outside, this looks to be a very typical Leica box, white with black lettering and of course the red Leica dot. On the side, we get the exact model number. And again, this is the Leica M6 TTL with a .85 magnification viewfinder, and this is the Dragon 2000 edition. So let's open up this thing and see exactly what we are getting. So right up top is the Leica strap. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave this in here and not open it up because it's a very typical Leica strap. I'm never going to use it, so I'm just going to put it aside. And look at that, marbled. Inside a box is another box. Here we have the instruction manual. Certificate of authenticity. Give you a sneak peek. Mine is number 123 out of 500, but I'll talk about this later. and testing certificate according to this. So let's open up the actual like a camera box. Very exciting. Oh, there it is. And this nice red velvet seating. All right, let's get this thing out and feel it for the first time. And there it is, <laughs> my brand new black paint Leica M6. Very beautiful. So now that we've seen an unboxing of this camera and exactly what we'll get, let's talk about this Dragon 2000 Leica M6. This camera was made for the millennium year of 2000, which happens to coincide with the year of the dragon when considering the Chinese calendar. Once you know this, it's pretty obvious how this camera got its name and concept. There are 500 of these cameras made, and as you've already seen, my particular camera is number 123. One thing to remember when buying a camera of a limited run or of special edition, and especially ones that are numbered, is that some numbers are going to be more special than others. The camera with number one is likely going to be the most valuable and sought after of pretty much any edition that you buy. Then you have numbers like 500 in this particular run that ends the run. So the first and the last are likely going to be the most sought after numbers. Then you have numbers like mine, number one, two, three, which just weirdly goes in order, that will hold some value in itself. My number was special enough for the seller to want to sell this particular camera for $200 above the listing price. This camera was actually not even listed, or at least the serial number, and I actually had to inquire about it. The seller also had 299 and 377, but these are pretty much just random numbers to me, so I had to get 123. But of course, I did not settle for that upcharge. I didn't pay the extra $200. I paid listing price. Since this is a special edition camera, there are some things that set it apart from other M6 and M6 TTLs. First, this camera features some design cues that are more similar to the M3s. This includes a solid one-piece metal film advanced lever versus the two-piece design of the traditional M6. This camera also features a flat twist style film rewind versus the angle film rewind crank of the traditional M6. Another little thing that would be appealing to the Leica enthusiasts is the reintroduction of the Leica script logo on the top plate. One complaint that many diehard Leica users have about the original M6 is that it was made from zinc instead of brass like previous cameras. Many consider zinc to be a cheaper alternative. This is another difference with the Dragon 2000 M6 as both the top and bottom plate are made from brass. The addition of brass has also enabled Leica to produce a camera with a black paint finish. For those who are not familiar with the Leica M6, they traditionally come in either silver chrome or black chrome. Again, the Dragon 2000 comes with black paint. The chrome finishes are actually more durable than last longer and just do not wear off as easily as the black paint. So what is the appeal of a black paint Leica? So at the beginning of this video, I said that this was a grail camera of mine, a dream camera, something that I've been wanting for a very long time. And I didn't exactly mean this particular camera, the Dragon 2000. I meant a black paint M6 because the M6 happens to be my favorite like a M mount body of all time and the black paint happens to be my favorite finish of all time so a black paint M6 just makes sense as my dream camera. The way I see it there are really only two reasons to buy a black paint Leica. 
One is for collection and resale purposes because the black paint variations tend to cost more and hold their value much better than the chrome counterparts. I did not buy this camera for that purpose. I intend to use this camera quite heavily. I wanted a black paint camera because the black paint wears off and this is the second reason for people wanting a black paint Leica. As you use a black paint Leica, the finish wears off and patinas in a way that no other camera will. It allows you to create something truly unique to you and how you use the camera. And that is what I love about the black paint finish. Some people might not like the brassing and how it just wears off, but that is something that I sought after. If you are interested in picking up your own black paint Leica M6, then cameras made in the year 2000 is where you want to be looking because right off the top of my head, I could think of five different models that feature black paint from this year alone. You have the Millennium Edition, the NSH Millennium Edition, the LHSA, the Aura Sunburn, and of course my Dragon 2000. Five different models from the year 2000 alone. Between these models, there are various differences and different features, but the main thing that we are looking at is, of course, that black paint, and all models will have a brass top and bottom plate that features black paint. Since there are many black paint Leica M6 out there, you may be wondering why I chose this Dragon 2000 edition. Well, first of all, I knew that I wanted an M6 with M3 controls because I prefer the M3 Film Advance and Rewind. They look better, they might not work better, but they are a lot cooler aesthetically to me. This would mean that the LHSA model and the Aura Sunburn model are pretty much out the door because they're of more traditional M6 designs, pretty much an M6 with black paint. Like the Dragon 2000, the Millennium Edition and the Millennium NSH Edition both offer a Leica M6 with some M3 controls, so these were also in the running for the camera that I wanted to buy. But the only problem with this is that the Millennium Editions generally cost more, a lot more than the Dragon 2000s, and a lot of this is very political, but it really all comes down to collectability. The Millennium Editions, both of them are much more valuable than the Dragon 2000 Edition. All of these models were available when I purchased my Dragon 2000, and I actually wanted the NSH Millennium Edition the most, not simply because it was the most rare and most valuable, but because they offered the most black paint parts. If you are observant, you probably have already noticed that the strap lugs on the Dragon 2000 Edition is actually silver. On the Millennium Editions, these are actually black painted. Whether or not this is worth the extra $1,500 to buy the Millennium NSH model is up to the buyer, but for me, ultimately, as someone who intend to wear the black paint off anyways, I just didn't see it being worth it in the long run, so of course, I bought my Dragon 2000. Apart from the collectability, the little extra black paint parts, and the Dragon 2000 branding that's on my particular camera, if you don't mind these differences, I would highly recommend going the same route that I did and buying a Dragon 2000 if you're looking for a similar camera. Because for the price, the Dragon 2000 offers a much better camera, or at least much better in value if you aren't planning on collecting or reselling. Another thing to consider when buying one of these black paint M6s is, is the viewfinder magnification. Like I said, the Dragon 2000 offers a 0.85 mag viewfinder, and this is pretty standard across the board on all five models. If you want a 0.72, only the LHSA model and the Millennium Edition offers this. I don't really mind the 0.85 mag viewfinder because my M6 Panda and the M7 both have a 0.72, so I really don't mind trying something different at all. I actually wanted the 0.85. So in conclusion, if you are interested in picking up your own black paint M6, there are quite a few to choose from. I'm happy to be able to pick up mine in the condition and number that I wanted, so I'm going to use this thing to the ground. I'm excited to see how the black paint wears off and patinas, and I can't be more happy with my purchase. If you're interested in picking up your own black paint Leica M6, I'll try to include some links in the description below to lead you to the right places. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share, comment with any thoughts or questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.